And despite a this struggling a economy and growing anger country. at Washington, an astounding amount of money is pouring into political races in the Carolinas. Tens of millions of dollars are being spent to win your vote. As Washington Bureau reporter Scott McFarland explains tonight, you might be surprised by who's giving candidates the cash. What recession? Look at your screen. This is how much money has already been spent on campaign 2010. Three billion dollars plus, likely four billion dollars by election day. Campaign contributions, campaign expenses. Let me show you one other set of numbers. Just the money raised and money spent in our local congressional race. The battle for Senate between Republican Richard Burr and Democrat Elaine Marshall. Add to that millions being raised in very competitive races for the U.S. House in South Carolina, including for the seat of longtime incumbent John Spratt. The entire Charlotte area right now, ground zero in the costly campaign to control the government. It is very expensive to run for office. Members of Congress need money, and they rely on this the people who have the most kind of wants and needs from Congress to provide them with that money. Which means it's not just voters and small donors bankrolling local candidates, but our review of campaign finance reports found hundreds of thousands of dollars from the real estate industry, big banks, and the health care field too and from donors with faraway addresses, New York City and L.A. A lot of people are worried about that because they feel if you have major unions or major corporations coming in, it really, really puts the little guy in a compromised position. In Washington, at private homes near the Capitol, dozens of big-ticket fundraisers are expected for candidates nationwide later this month, some charging thousands of dollars just for entry. The protesters have surrounded some of this summer's big-ticket dinners to rally against the influence of deep pockets on local elections. But like it or not, big money is clearly becoming a big part of campaign 2010 in the Charlotte area. Scott McFarland, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. And as Scott mentioned, the banking industry is among the largest donors to local campaigns. A federal election record show Bank of America has donated more than $33,000 in North Carolina's Senate race. Wachovia has handed over more than $15,000 for